Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Part 29, I'm pretty sure I'll run now, guys. So, I took a week's break off recently just because I was pretty tired. Honestly, I was, um, I was kind of tired. <laughs> I did, I did the, uh, Fringilla video and that was really long. It took a, like, it took a lot out of me, but, um, you know, I'm here now and I'm ready to play some more Witcher. Honestly, I was really excited. I, uh, logged in today or turned on The Witcher today and I was in, um, Yennefer's room and obviously it played the class, the classic song, so, uh, it kind of got me in the mood. So, at the moment, I thought it'd be good to go and start the part by going and doing the Black Pearl quest. Um, so, I'm getting a boat there at the moment. I started on the boat. I thought it'd be a good idea. i tell you what, we can quickly get this smuggler's cache as well. Why not? We've got to deal with these um, sirens or echidnas. Same thing. Okay, I'm going to stay on the boat while I fight them. And you know what? Hang on. This is kind of hard, actually. Weather. No, I've um, I've been streaming a lot recently, actually. That's that's another reason I took some time off to try and sort of, you know, do that a bit more. Played a lot of Gwent, the uh, standalone game. It's actually okay. Obviously, it's got the problems all card games have, being that there is a few decks that are very good, and it kind of forces you to play those decks, and you can't really play the ones that you actually want to. Oh, is that a whale? the hell? Okay, right, let's dive. We're gonna get this treasure. Ow. Okay, are they dealt with? Yeah, I think we killed them all, guys. We got this. Oh, I'm so happy, you guys. Honestly, I, I love playing this so much. It, it's such a nice part of my week, like genuinely. When I when I get to record the Witcher 3 part, I get to sit down and play the game that I talk about all the time and I do videos on, I just get to sit down and actually play it and enjoy the world. And I've been rereading Lady of the Lake recently. I, I talk about this quite a bit on my stream, but um, I, got, I read the entire bit with Siri in the world of the NL in one sitting. And... Um, it, it's really, it really made me want to do some Witcher stuff. I'm not kidding. I, I basically, it was really late actually. I finished streaming and I thought, you know what? I want to read. I want to, I want to carry on with Lady of the Lake. You know, I, I'm rereading that book. It's been taking me ages to get through it because I've been messing around so much. But um, I just felt like reading it and I read that whole thing in one section and it, I just love it. I love it so much. The whole bit with Alberon. I don't want to spoil anything, in case you guys haven't read the books and you plan to, but. It, it's very, very cool, and I, I really love Lady of the Lake as a book. I think it's probably my favorite Witcher book. I mean, I do like The Sword of Destiny, which is like the classic. This is just a really good Witcher book, loads of sort of little stories. But personally, just for me, Lady of the Lake has some of my favorite characters in. It has a really nice sort of well-put-together story. I'm not a big fan of the sort of initial flashback part of it, because um, I'm, not, I'm not ever really a fan of flashbacks. I... I much prefer to have a story just as it is, you know, I, I, I want to go with the characters, I don't want to think as if it's already all happened and I'm just sort of reading about it. Um, you know, well, I know you might be like, oh, well, you do lore videos, that's literally what that is, and it's like, well, the difference is that there's still, like, a story that you can experience and go through, right? And you can make decisions in The Witcher 3, and I guess when you read the books, and if you haven't read them before, it's like a whole, oh... Well, I don't know what's going to happen, and when you, you know, you kind of go along with the journey. It's like when you're hearing about someone else going along on the journey, and you're sort of going along it with them, sort of unintentionally. I don't know. It just feels weird to me. I, I prefer, um... God damn it, Geralt, come on. I can't do what? Hang on. i got to get on this boat. Fine, I'll swim round. Well, we've got to get these black pearls, guys. That's that's why we're coming here today. I tell you, I was looking at the uh, the Witcher 3, like, E3 2014 demo. Actually, what was it? It might have been 2012 or something when they did I don't know, something like that. And it looked so much like The Witcher 2. Like, it looked so much like it. Like, I, I remember looking at that, obviously, when it was all coming out. But I, I sort of never remembered just how similar it was. And... It looked kind of like The Witcher 2, but The Witcher 3, if, if that makes sense to you. Like, 
you can tell it's the Witcher 3. It's got like a, it's a bit of a bigger game, but it's the Witcher 2 with the Witcher 3 mechanics. Like the, it's like a, a paint, a, a coat of paint that makes it look like the Witcher 2 kind of. Sorry, I'm just searching because there's there's a bunch of wrecked ships, guys. I feel like there's got to be stuff here. But no, I've been really enjoying playing this. I um, sorry, I feel like I'm bringing up streaming a lot, but it's because I've been doing it so much. But I've been playing a lot of Gwen, and I um. I've played uh, all of God of War. I beat it on God of War modes. Give me God of War. I killed the Valkyrie Queen. That took such a long time. I, um... Oh, there's the volumetric clouds coming in. <laughs> I did, um... Oof. I'm just having to look around at the moment. I honestly like just looking at all this stuff. Um, I did the, um... I did... Uh, I'm doing Batman... And your average missed. Oh, okay. Is this a foglet? I did Batman Arkham Origins, but well, I'm, I'm in the process of that. Finished Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Bioshock. I've been having a lot of fun. It's basically what I'm doing here, but live, and then I upload the parts. And it's really fun. I have a genuine nice time chatting to you guys. Oh, a wraith. Okay. Can't kill us with our new bear armor, guys. Hey. Is this a contract? Should I be doing this? Tell you what, I kind of want to come here just to get a marker anyway. I, f I feel like there's one around here. So I'll grab the marker. Oh, there's a lot of dead people. managed to find cover. Almost. I like the music. Hey, anyone there? How, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Bolted back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispering me name. Michal, Michal. I look out, there's the wraith. Big bugger, bigger than the rest, and coal flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. Guys, he referenced Vergen. Do you remember that with the the mists when Hensolt caused the entire entire shit to go down? I mean, there was a lot more to that, but uh, basically that's the gist. Okay. I can try to help. First, though, a couple of questions. Ask a hundred, if you will. Just get me out of here. Okay, let's ask a hundred. Any idea what may have drawn the spectres? The wraith, tell me more. Let's go. This wraith, the big one, tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew, knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry, only saw it once. It disappeared right after. Any idea what might have drawn the spectres? These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought him here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. Right, well, thank you, Miguel. I'm gonna loot your house now. Hope that's cool. I need the supplies. Contract the Phantom of... We'll check what level it is. If we can do it, sure. It's totally doable. Take... Talk, talk about the contract with Jorun uh, from Arnbjorn. Oh, so we... Oh, we came here too early. Okay, guys, I, I just quickly did a, a, a brief save reload. Um, what my plan is, is I would like to talk to the guy that actually gives out the contract first, um, as I think that would be quite, uh, you know, a good thing to do. Um, so I'm going to go and do the Black Pearl quest, see if I get some sort of marker of some kind, and then go and get the... Um, oh, hang on. 
and then go and get the actual contracts. Ow. Boom, absolute legend Witcher mode. Sure, we'll take the swords, we'll sell them on. We're running low on money anyway, from what I remember. Yeah, we'll just take everything, sure. We need to, we need to try and replenish our funds, guys. Nice Thank you. Come on. Leif, go round up a few pearl dows and bring them- Oh, Leif, I don't know. Uh, bring them here, good ones, this time. Those turds we brought in from Speaker Rog, or Speaker Rog even, Speaker Rog. Uh, drown before they could be any of any use to us. I don't know, maybe that ship really has sunk too deep for any man to pull anything out of it, but it's worth a try. From what the survivor said, it was carrying a mighty hefty load of silver. Ooh. Should we go and get it quickly? Let's go and get it. <laughs> Let's get that hefty load of silver, guys. Why not? I'll say to like set up camp here. They had this whole plan. Can I just... Oh, it was a bad idea. Oh my god, we're alive. I was so sure that was it. So apparently, there is some gold for us to grab. Oh, hang on. Hang on, that looks like something. No silver, but um, some cool ass swords. I'll take it. We'll have a look. There might be some more stuff down here. There's a lot of... There's so many ships in Skellige that are just absolutely destroyed. Oh, hang on. We're running out of breath here. I need to get the potion that lets us have more breath, especially while we're in Skellige. Oh, come on. I can't open that. It looks like it's just a bunch of herbs. Okay, let's go back up. Hmm. I like the fish. Very, very cool. Okay, we're back out. Let's have a look. I want to do the um, the pearl quest, as I said. What I'll do is I'll do the pearl quest. I'll go and talk to the guy that issued the contract. I'll come back here. I'll skip through the conversation with that guy. As obviously, we've already listened to it. Um, normally, I wouldn't reload the save, guys, but um, I just want—I don't want to miss out on that dialogue with that other guy. Igni is so <laughs> powerful. <laughs> there you go. Sneaky little Igni. Right, we're getting a lot of stuff here, guys. A lot of stuff. God, I just, I love playing this game, man. It's so good. The music, too. I think it's playing Fields of Ard Skellige? Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, I think it is Fields of Ard Skellige. Okay. Well, we're clearing up the bandits, you know? We're making this island safe for um, boats to crash into and stuff, you know? That's the way it works. Right. Let's go Let's go and actually um, talk to the guy. So this is the guy we met in Novigrad, right? I was thinking we're probably going to have to do a trip back to Novigrad at some point. I think maybe towards the end, because we want to talk to Lambert and stuff, obviously. Oh. Good you here. So, what'll it be? Will you help old Nardis find a black pearl for his wife? I'd like it done already. Humidity's unkind to my bones. They've started creaking. Let's go. Let's go. But get ready for them to creak some more. Not likely to find pearls where it's dry. True. 
But I survived worse during the war. At Rosrock, we fought waist deep in the swamp and... Ah, wasted my breath. History don't mean a wit to youngsters. Come on, Pearl Ground's out far now. <laughs> youngsters. Yep, that's what Geralt is, a little youngster. Okay, let's carry on. What the hell? Quite the spring in your step for a man your age. Uh -huh. Have you seen me in my prime? 30 miles a day I did in full dress. This is the place. They say dive down here and you'll see the oyster beds all around. Problem is, not all hold pearls. And the black ones are a real rarity. But search long enough and you're sure to find one. Ah, so I'm supposed to do the diving. Well, you see, I've been in the infantry all my life, so I'm not one for water. And my lungs ain't what they used to be, so, uh, yeah. Huh. Customer's always right. Right. Let's have a look here. So, can I make a potion that will let me actually go into the water and not have to mess around for ages? Let's have a look. Black blood? Nope. Blizzard? Nope. Full moon? Nope. Nope. It has to be one I can already make, right? Uh, ah, increases breath supply while underwater by 50%. Yeah, so that's that's what we want. Killer whale. Okay, let's equip some killer whale. We'll put it on. We'll dive down. We'll grab this uh, this pearl for this fella. Uh, put it on instead of black blood, I guess. Okay, we'll swim out first. Oh, Skelliger is just amazing. Just had him draw his sword. I was like, oh my god. Is it a mutiny? Right, okay, here we are. Okay, sorry, just dealing with that quickly. Right, should we just get sort of central? Sure. Right, we're drinking the killer whale. Let's have a look. Maybe cat would actually be useful here. Oh, I just drank tawny owl. Oh my god, cat was not a good idea. Oh my god, cat was not a good idea. Oh. Uh, okay, let's go again. <laughs> we had cat. Um, it was a bad idea. I thought it would be fun. Uh, we'll have a look for these pearls then. So it's in the oysters, right? Oh, we'll just get loads of pearls while we're down here. Why not? Oh, what? Already? No, we're looking for some more pearls first, guys. We want to get money from this, you know? Using our Witcher majesticness to get these pearls. I can't believe we found the black pearl that early. Okay. They're super rare. Finds it on the second <laughs> search. See, we, we already drunk the killer whale. Should I have another one? I didn't really do anything. Look, look how many pearls are getting. And I think these are actually worth quite a lot of money. So, um, that'll be good. We'll, uh, we'll get some money in. We're quite low on the old money. I can't believe I found the black pearl that, like, straight away. Uh, can you see any more? There probably is more, but I'm dying. So, um, you know what? That's enough. We got, like, four p normal pearls. The one black pearl, which we obviously give to this fella. Oh, shit. We'll help him. Nidas. Jesus. The fact that he's fighting off three drowners, though, is impressive. Oh, God. Look at his health. Hang on. He can actually die? Leave my friend alone. Uh, well, kind of friend, I guess. I had to take a lot of damage there, guys. I couldn't risk another, um... Ghoul situation. That sucked. Okay. We saved him. We saved Nidas. It's good. Or Ni Nidas? I don't know. Damn it. Splashing must have attracted them. You alright? Uh, nicked in a few places. But if I pull through after sod, I'll survive this too. So, any luck? Black Pearl. Just like you wanted. Beautiful. Rare. Like my letter. Well, as Constable Natalis would say, you've earned a medal. Or better yet, a week's leave in a brothel. Coin will be fine. 
Oh, yes, um, <clears throat> about that. Uh, listen, I, I feel right foolish, but, well, I, I didn't bring any coin with me. Don't try to cheat me. And earn a witch's ire. I'm old, but I'm not stupid. We'll meet in Novigrad. I'll pay you to the last copper. Foot soldiers on her. Fine. Why is everyone so slow on the payments? It's the world of a witcher. Okay. Should have probably had the swallow first. Oh well. Right, well we, um... I guess we have a lot to go back to Novigrad 4, so we want to do the following a thread quest at some point. We we'll need to go back for that. I suppose when we have to do the, um... I'm not going to spoil it for anyone, but when we have to do this other thing later on, we do have to go back to that sort of area. I guess more specifically kind of Velen, but, um... I suppose we can do all that then. I kind of want to... I guess that's where we have to go, right? The lighthouse. But I, I... I need to, um... Hang on, where's the boat? I will have to come back here. Which is annoying. I would have preferred to... Hang on, can I jump off here? Didn't I do this before and I almost... It's fine. Right, come on. Whew. I love... I just love exploring Skellige. It's so cool. Alright, so this is where those guys were. Do I have a boat around here? Because I can teleport to an anchor, right? I will have to ride back down here, but I'm honestly not too bothered. Because I want to... Hang on. I want to do the... I need to talk to What's-His-Face for that contract and then come back here. Because I feel like I have to kind of do that now. Because I've already started. Where is this guy? Okay, he's down here. Oh, I may as well just boat the whole way down. Yeah, I can go from this boat and just go the whole way down. Okay, that'll do. Let's go there. Ooh. Okay, we made it. Oh my god. That was that was a long old trip, guys. Jesus. Okay. I literally just sat there. I was looking at the Skelligan Sea. I was thinking about how much fun, you know, the playing the game is and how much of a journey it is and I finally made it. And I can go and play Gwent probably with this guy. I can't wait. Classic Witcher 3 Gwent. Deceive me. You're the white wolf. Warrior, lover, philosopher extraordinaire. Someone's fed you a lot of and a friend of the great master Dandelion himself? The great master Dandelion. Hey, who built you a monument more lasting than any of bronze. When next you see him, White Wolf, please convey the great esteem in which I, Sigurd, hold his many achievements. Oh, I'll be sure to tell them exactly what I think of his tales. It would be a disgrace to censor such an artist. Though a smith by trade, I too do my best work in words. Right, let's play some Gwent then. Let's see it. Wait, actually, hang on. Wouldn't mind. Have you got any cards? Ooh. Oh, it's just a default silver sword. It looked cool. Um. Okay. Hang on. I guess I could sell some of my terrible swords to him real quick. That's not a terrible. So any name sword, I guess we should probably keep. Right. Sell. Um. Just a bunch of terrible axes and. Get rid of this. Get rid of all of it. Same with the armor. That's kind of a cool name, but you know what? We can't deal with it. What's that armor? Oh, yeah. People mentioned last time that I, I forgot to... Um, what was it? I forgot. I forgot... Oh, God. There's so many bloody shoes. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, my God. That was close. And they sold the wrong thing. Okay. No, people mentioned that I forgot to... Um, I forgot to sell... Sorry, I forgot to buy the Undvik trousers, so I'll go and do that as well. Let's play cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad. But we'll play some Gwent first. I actually want to make another deck, and you know what? I think I'm going to do it now. Is Regis in this? Like, as in, do we have him? Because I'd like to make a monster deck. We don't really have many monster cards. I guess... Squirtail, do we have Yorvith? Okay, you know what? Classic tactic as always. Let's check our leader cards. I'm just going to make this real quick. I can skip it for you guys, and I probably will. Okay, guys, I have put together a Scoretel deck. I'm not sure if it'll work very well, but um, we're going to give it a go, and we're going to see. I'm going to play. Right. 
Um, do I want to go first, or do I want to let my opponent start? I would like to go first. Okay. So, I don't want you guys to know what the deck is yet. I'm going to try and weasel it out. You'll probably be able to understand what it is pretty quickly. We got Ethni. Ethni. Another Scorch. I kind of want to keep one of the Scorches. I'll get rid of a Commander Sorn. Okay, so, to start, I want to fill the ranged row, right? Because my ability, I've got the ability that doubles the range row. There are basically no spies in the Scoytail, which is one thing I have um, sort of slowly uncovered. Uh, which is kind of interesting, to say the least. Because spies are obviously the biggest thing in Gwent. But you know what? Maybe this will make it more of a challenge. Imlarith, huh? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the... Um, the other 10 on. What is it? Is it like if your row is over 10 or something, he just kills the highest? I think it is. Let's have a look. What does he do? Yeah. So if it has a combined strength of 10 or more, he kills them. And what does Isengrim do? I just want you to... Yeah, okay. So he kind of works as well. I'm going to put Geralt down. If he doubles them, I'll dandelion. But if not, I'll skip. That's fine. Oh well, yeah, I don't draw cards. I'm so used to that with the Northern Realms. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play him on the front row, and then I'm going to decoy him. I shouldn't actually have a... Oh, you little shit. Oh, what the hell just happened? Hang on. Okay, I'll go with her, and we'll go into him. Okay, that's fine. Because my plan right now is to basically force this guy to play. Because then I'm now going to decoy the the res, I guess. Extra cards are always better. And then I'm going to... Scorch won't work. It'll kill my six. I, I think I'm going to pass. Yeah. Yep, so he's gonna command his horn, that's fine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and bolster my ranged row now. Which if that doesn't work, annoying. No, it does work, cool. Awesome. I don't think I can actually kill that. Boom. And then, boom. So I actually won. Um, and it wasn't too bad. I didn't have any spies. If they, if my opponent... The reason I got the decoy in is in case I play against an opponent with spies, right? Um, so I think i got to run the risk of using that. And it is kind of versatile in points. Teruviel. Well, she can go in the deck. For certain. Okay, well that was cool. Let's go and do the actual quest. I just, I like, I want to try out new Gwent decks. I feel like I've been playing the same deck the whole time and I want to try new things. I can't wait to get to Tucson and get all the, the, uh, the new cards and stuff. Now we're in Skellige, we should be starting to unlock new cards as well. Uh, so that should be cool. Let's have a look here. Blah, 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 blah. Um, we'll open whatever we can. Boom. Okay, well nothing else. Right. Hello. Look what the sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this tavern. Not looking for trouble. What are you doing here, then? I'm just going to say not looking for trouble. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Look at him. Raise your voice and his tail slinks between his legs, like a dog who's heard a wolf howl at the moon. Looking to eat? We'd head in the yard then, till ill tosses what's left in our bowls or the fence. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teaching nothing. Don't you talk to me about me dad, Yorant, or I'll tuck you in me the barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Kerr Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome.
You're not bothered by travelers? Didn't need any help. I I'm not going to be a dick. You know, I didn't want to start a fight then. I feel like it, it wasn't like a took your tail between your legs thing. It was more of like a, look, man, I just don't want any, I don't want any uh, fighting, all right? You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Yorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Okay, Yorant. Hi, Geralt. So, don't often get guests from the continent, do you? I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty. And the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Mm-hmm. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Cory and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. Didn't we read a note with um, Leif on it? Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely, so we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikyel, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do us much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Well, let's talk about that first. Let's have Gotta a... say, I like you, Yorand. But business is business. I'll need more than that. Right, okay. So, this is a big old contract, guys. You know, we gotta demand a little bit, a little bit more. 310, I think. Hmm. Fuck you, Yorand. 310 is a fine price. Hmm. Right, fine. Grand. Let's call it that. Shake on it. I'll take the job. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. Got to be said. Right, Yorand, I will help you. I will go back to the islands. I'll skip the conversation with that guy because obviously we uh, we kind of did that. We kind of jumped the gun on that one. And we'll do it. You know, that's the plan. And you know what? We'll take Roach down there. We don't even need to sail down there. I don't know why they sailed. I think it's just... <gasps> There's an inn in there. There's an innkeeper. I can go and Gwent him, perhaps, with the new Squire Tell deck and put Teruvial in. <gasps> it's Yorand. No, wait, no, it's not. It's this guy. This guy. Look, I want to see if you got any Gwent first. Cool. Oh, he does. He does. Not only that, he's got a guy to speak a rog. I don't care. Tala? Tala is one of the best cards. Willing to pay me? Okay. A game. Gwen, let's do it. Right, we'll continue with the score hotel because obviously we've put a bit of work into this. We got Teruvial, right? Is she actually a terrible card? Oh, she's terrible. I thought she was actually better in this version of Gwen. It's hard to remember sometimes. Okay, well, we'll keep what we've got, I think. Honestly, I'm tempted to put another decoy in, but uh, I, could, I only draw a certain amount of cards, right? Okay, I'm taking out one commander's horn. That is ridiculous. Why do I have three? Hang on, what? Why didn't I get to pick if I was go? Oh, we're both Scoia'tael, so I guess it doesn't let us choose which one goes first. Um, so for some reason I have Zoltan in this deck. Don't know why I put him in, but you know what? Good starting card. Hit him on the board. And then you know what? We're gonna go with Geralt. Okay, he's gonna do Siri. We can also do Siri. It's not a problem. I'm actually just do Dandelion. Mm-hmm. 
Mm, that's fine. That's fine. That was like our bait card, right? Because now we can do this. And if you scorch it again, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to take like full advantage of this while I can. Damn it. Okay, he's actually not that far ahead of us. Hmm. I'm going to put Siri down. I'm going to put Siri down. Oh. What? Why did he do that? Oh, I see. I see. That kind of makes sense, actually. I would have started with that, though. GG, man. It's goddamn AI. Okay, I say we start strong. We go... Hmm, actually. What cards have I got in here? Okay, first things first. Boom. Now they've got no cards. This deck is actually doing quite well. I'm not even joking. Like, it's doing better than I thought. I just sort of put it together, saw if it would work, and it is actually working. I'm happy with that. Well done, Keeper. You did just, um, okay. But we're gonna, we're, we actually gotta go and do, oh, we got Stefan Skellen. Damn. The Tawny Owl. Okay. I should make a Nilfgaard deck. Do, I think I actually have Letho, so that would be a fun one. I mean, obviously, I, as I mentioned, I, I've been streaming Gwent, right? And Nilfgaard hey, yeah. is one of the most annoying factions to play against. Like, oh my god, I, I didn't even realize how annoying Nilfgaard was. Like, Jesus. Like, oh, oh, I didn't want to think about it. it it's like giving me um, pains, you know? Go, go. Okay, let me off. Roach, look, you're being difficult. We've got to go sort this out. We gotta go deal with this lighthouse. It's always a goddamn lighthouse with some wraiths. Witcher George had to deal with some a while back, and now it's our turn. Okay. Hang on. Is there any chests around here? This feels like a chest filled area. God damn it, I hate them. Okay. Sneaky! Whoa! Jesus! Oh my god, it like it like it like rudely tackled me off the goddamn hill. You see that? I didn't I didn't dodge or anything, it just ran into me. I couldn't dodge actually. I would have I would have fallen off the hill. I had to take the hit. How do I get around? We'll work our way back up, guys. It's fine. That was an awesome little fight there. I like that. Okay. Oh. Why have I got tracking bolts equipped? Oh, come on, I almost got the finish. Oh, right. Ah. Oh. Hang on, I fell off. Whew. This bear armor, guys, it is protecting us from so many errors. God damn. Should we pick up some of this blood moss, I guess? Hang on. 
I kind of want to get some green. more, some more herbs. Geralt would say. Oh. Because we're, I feel like there's a lot of potions we have now that I actually can't make. You know what I'm going to make? I'm going to work on some oils. That was something I thought about. And I know that I've been doing this whole playthrough and not really bothering. But it, it just genuinely, not because I think it would... It would make stuff a little bit easier, right? Like, so minor. But I think it'd just be fun to do. And one thing I actually might quickly do is put some runes on my, um, my bear swords. Because, obviously, this is, like, the bear stuff we're using. And we have so many runes now. So we get, like, adrenaline, stun, attack, burning freeze what i want to get actually is if you set something as like bleeding poison and burning at the same time so if i put like on my silver i put poison right and then i also put i don't know burning on this then i could like i think if i get poison and i get bleeding and then i switch it to like igni or something and do burning that could be quite fun but no i may as well just put those rune stones on right i have so many look at all the birds Huh. Okay. We're making our way through. What is this? Oh, it's a boat. Yeah, so I guess the, the ships crashing all around here actually have a, a law reason, which is kind of cool. Roach, I need you now. Let's go. Best team, Geralt and Roach. Traveling through Skellige, going across bridges. We're going to jump. No, okay, Roach, that's fine. I understand. It's a, it's a bit of a gap. Um, is there anything down here? I just, I see all these broken ships and I think there surely must be loot around. I just, I can't really be bothered to go into the water and look and find like a little runestone or something and be like, oh, well, that was cool. <laughs> you know, I feel like this, I can do this contract, you know, I'll get more money. Roach? Okay, good. I was scared for a second there. I lost her. I love the clouds, look at it. Yeah, the fog is kind of reminiscent of Vergen, isn't it? It's very cool. Roach, Master. fucking Roach. God damn it, Roach. I think someone needs to do a mod for Roach. I think that'd be very cool. Like a mod that would um, mist. make a more, maybe more similar to the Red Dead horses. You know, like if you jump, you can risk injury. And maybe you can't call her with the whistle for a while or something. Okay, I've got to do this again. Hang on. Uh, okay. Oh, that's one of the Ugly guys bastard. they brought. I really want to use these bombs. There's not really much point, though. I, I guess I do enough damage to not really bother. Okay. Right. Oh, hang on. I want to actually um, look at this guy. Wound on his back. He was running away. They always are. Goddamn skeletons. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought that was some blood. It's just another guy. Almost managed to find cover. Almost. Okay, guys, I'm gonna skip the conversation with this guy real quick because we'll already have seen it earlier, and I don't just want to watch the same thing again with you guys. I kind of I know exactly what he says. We reference Vergen and stuff. You know, it's just a little little cool thing. But I, um, obviously I did that accidentally earlier. Okay, let's go knock. Someone lose hey, a frying pan? Anyone there? Okay, there we go. I just quickly skipped through that. We already knew. He talked about the wraith and stuff and how it was this this white wraith with like frosty stuff and it came to his window and stuff. We, we know all that, okay? Right, let's have a look. Uh, oh my god, he had meteorite in here? Why, what are you doing with this ingot, my friend? Where did you find it? It's mine now. You see the singer? It's mine now. That's how Geralt works. That's what it means to be a witcher. If you don't get your payment, you get it in other ways. I haven't even done anything yet, but you know what? I did kill two wraiths outside his house. So we, we actually learned from the other guy as well that that guy is the lighthouse keeper, right? I, re I bet he did something. Oh, look, my sword has the runes on it. That's very cool. Get poisoned! Did you hear that? It's actually kind of creepy. I like it.
Um, the music and the uh, the wraiths and the fog is actually kind of cool. I like it. Very, very creepy. Huh. Okay. Symbols of a bonding. Manifestations of ill will. Focused, concentrated. So it's a curse. A curse that keeps the specters here. A penitent. Good thing it hasn't appeared to me yet. Couldn't possibly kill it in this mist and darkness. Need that lighthouse working again. If Mikiel's the cursed one, the curse binds him to this place. He's the only one who can light the fire that will break the curse. Geralt is so, like, clever. You know what I mean? In, in which sense, he just knows exactly what to do. Like, look at this. I don't even know what these are. They look kind of like sausages. They're probably not. Actually, maybe they are. What the hell is that? Okay. A letter. Uh, got work for you, Mikial. Um, a ship's going to sail from Faro to Yarnbjorn with loads of hides on board. At midnight, you're out, you're to put the light in the lighthouse. You're to put out the light in the lighthouse and keep it dark until we give the sign with our torch. We'll split the loot same as always. You'll get a tenth of what the sea tosses ashore. Till we meet again. Well, well. Lighthouse has got a pretty dark secret. Uh huh. I wonder if he knew. I wonder if the guy that did the contract, Jorund or whatever, I wonder if he knew. I'm trying to remember, I haven't done this contract in a long time. Okay, should we light it? Oh yeah, I forgot, we, only Mikhail can light it. I guess we found the letter though. Okay. If I was him, I would have burnt that letter almost as soon as I bloody read it. You know? Just literally thrown it in the massive fire that I'm lighting. Okay. Well, we're getting down. Right. Mikhail, I found your letter. And I'm not impressed, alright? I kind of like the rain. It kind of works with the, uh, the aesthetic. Is there going to be more wraiths? Goddamn wraiths. The worst. I mean, they're not actually that bad in The Witcher 3. They were bad in The Witcher 1. They were pretty annoying in The Witcher 2. But in The Witcher 3, they're, they're not too difficult to deal with. I love the classic Witcher 2 wraith style, too. Very cool to see them. Phew. It's just you. Learn anything? Uh, a penitent haunts the island. Island's haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes. Foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it. I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea. That's its nature. They sink near the isle. At least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitent's invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can feel it. Mayhaps you could... I'll escort you. Now, no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Here Hurry we go. Up. Don't know how much longer I can manage this. We got we can last forever, Geralt, alright? We hit him with moon dust, we ruin his life. Okay. Should I even be fighting these guys? Oh my god, that was that was actually bad. Hang on. Okay. I've actually done damage to the penitents. Yeah. 
Did he light the did he light it? I'm doing damage. Oh my god. It's actually kinda of hard, you know. Use the ear, Dan! Okay, I'm doing it. Right, finally. Time to get this done. Okay, now is time. Come into my circle, Wraiths. If you dare. Okay, hang on. Yikes, I'm actually quite kind of low with that. A lot of wraiths. Okay, we'll loot her last. Let's get all the rest. Oh, I guess we got to deal with that guy now, Mikhail or whatever, because he did actually love people to their deaths, which is pretty bad. Oh, look at all this wraith dust. I forgot to make the oil. I just remembered, so um, we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. I'll go and buy the um, with the contract man. I'll go and buy the thing. You know what I'm on about? Okay. Ooh, ash rune. And a Wraith Trophy. Did, did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe. Because you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Uh, no, no. Absolutely never. As soon as we're done talking, you're gonna pack up and leave. For good. Understand? But I... I understand. No, you betrayed your position of power. You let a lot of ships, it looks like, crash in. Like, literally, like, like, ten. Like, they're all around, you know? And I, I'm gonna assume that pretty much all of them were from him, so you know what? He betrayed it. You know, we can't have a lighthouse keeper that might fuck us over. Imagine if Siri was on one of those ships, guys. That's what you gotta think. <laughs> That's like Geralt's thing. <laughs> imagine imagine if Siri was on those ships. Okay, no, but seriously, we can't let we can't let that slide. You know, we won't we won't report him to the Yarl. I, I would have if I had the option, but you know what? He can't be the lighthouse keeper. We need someone better. Oh god. Right, let's just go inside. I'm not gonna bother waiting till morning. It'll be nice in here. Yorund, I want to play Gwent with you. Hi, Geralt. Killed the monster from the lighthouse. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there. Did something terrible. Long story short, you'll need a new lightkeeper. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes, got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. Well, nice, thank you. So long. Am I guess? Got a taste for Skellige mead, Vagrant? It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off. I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems I got to pound it into you. Pounding's better with a partner. Thanks, Jorand. Pounding's always better with a partner. Not hmm, that, that had a, a few connotations to it, Geralt, I'm just going to say. I'm the master of fist fights. I got this. The fuck? I won't let this pass. Yorin, 
Oh, they killed Yorand? Burn, bitch! They killed Yorand? Oh. Yorand? So many reeds. Wars. Duels. Only to die at the hands of some miserable shits. Get you a healer. What can I do? I'll get my healer. Stay calm. Get you a healer. No point. Pierce me lung. I'll drown in my own blood or too long. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Jorant. Son of Sigvald. Who lived honorable. And died like a fool. I'm sorry, Yorand. Oh. Oh, fuck my life. I'd but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. You're lying. Had no respect for the law. Your sons helped you kill the monsters that. I killed the monster from the lighthouse, the beast that haunted you. This how you repay me? Paid you in gold. We owe you nothing more. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent will you be free to go. I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call madman. That, or fight the whole village, and you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. God fucking damn it. <laughs> this contract has really spiraled out of control. These two goddamn little skeleton fellas being assholes. Yorin dying. And now we're stuck in goddamn jail. Prisoner. Help me out. Hey, he's got a name. Look at him cast his eyes about searching for an escape. But there ain't none to be found. <laughs> Save for talking to old Simon. No way he's keeping us well, so long. Well, Simon? You're, you are Simon. Let me talk to you. Look at him cast his eyes. What are you doing here? Fine, I'll talk to you later. When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to give lip during trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. Let me out now. Oh! But see... Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, I. Right. Uh, come on. My line dates back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gonna die. I passed judgment here, Leif. Remember that. 
but he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. You invited me to your lands, Lugos. Said I'd find work here. Aye, killing monsters, not men. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Kraki. What do you say to that? It was self-defense. They got what they deserved. Save us all some time. Why not the... I'm going to say it was self-defense. Fought to defend myself and your end. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Ha! Ah, tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me! Insults our whole clan! The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find ye guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. Yep. You know I don't have that kind of coin. Unless those boys were a lot lighter than they looked. I'm well aware of that. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Go home, Lee. Because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Nice gesture. Why the theatrics? Why the theatrics? If you wanted to hire a witcher, should have just said so. Would have been cheaper. Tell me, witcher. Have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt. A debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir. No matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. Bloody hell. A lot just happened, guys. Let me wait till day. Jesus. Oof. I mean, one thing that came out of all that, obviously now we have the Cave of Dreams quest, which is awesome, but look at our magnificent beard. Our Skelligan beard is coming in. It's amazing. I love it. Hang on. I, I want to go talk to Madman Lugos real quick. Because I think, and I could be wrong, but I, no, I'm not wrong. I can Gwent him. Is he in here? I'm trying to remember where he, where he is. I remember it was like always a pain to find him. I think he's in here, right? Yeah, there he is. Madman Lugos? Wow. What is it? I have some questions first. Two clans on one island. Tough to be neighbors so near each other? A neighbor is one who lives nearby, not one who stole half your home. The Ancrete seized our lands. In the days of Harold the Cripple. That was three centuries ago. Doesn't change the fact they had no right. I'll rid Art Skellig of Crack and his brood yet. Fair enough. Why exactly do they call you Madman? Just out of curiosity, why do they call you Madman? Ah! That's why. Fair enough. Farewell, Lucas. I can't Gwent him yet. I think I have to wait until um, I've Gwented Ermion or something. But we'll go and we'll go and Gwent him after that. I guess we'll um, we'll talk to the armorer. Greetings. Want to look over our stock? Take it. Everything here's for sale. Sure, if you can afford it. Zarakanian zephyrs. Mahak and battle axes, fair lead and short swords. Where'd you get so many continental goods? The sea provides. And if it doesn't provide on its own, you hack off hands that hold swords in a death grip. <laughs> what? Yeah, think we just found all this on the shore, like seashells at low tide? Right, okay, well I want to Gwent him, obviously. I just want to ask this first. 
What else do you bring back from the raids? We focus on the essentials. Fancy wines, silk, baubles of all sorts. Oh, and wenches, for if we don't make proper use of them, who will? Have you heard about Hollering Holder, known as the Hellraiser, Madman Lucas' wife? Or Goldilocks Sansa, the most beautiful maid in the world in her time? Taken in raids, both. Right, uh, what do you have in stock? Okay, is he going to Gwen? I don't think Smith sell Gwen, but I'm kind of just curious if they sell maps and stuff anyway, because you, you never know, right? No. Okay, that's Gwen. I got some Nilf Guardian cards, right? I can make a Nilf Guardian deck. That might be quite fun with Letho and stuff. I have Letho, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to make a quick Nilf Guardian deck, guys. Give me just one second. Okay, guys, I have made a Nilfgaard deck. It is incredibly cobbled together. I don't know how well it's going to go. I literally have one spy, but I have a lot of good gold cards in, so I'm kind of happy, to be honest. Um, I'm going to get rid of him. That's fine. I guess Fringilla. Okay, here we go. This is a very interesting deck we've sort of got here right now. I think I'm going to go with the... Um... Tell you what, I'm going to open with Geralt. I'm just going to open strong. And our ability lets us look at three random cards. We don't have Villain Tret and Mirth, so kind of annoying. But what we can do now is go... 10. I kind of... I almost want to try and bait out the... Um... This is actually kind of bad. I could go with the 2-2 two, two, and then Dandelion. Or I could just skip. I'm going to skip. Okay, that's fine. I can play... I want to keep K here. Okay, that'll do. Right, then we'll go with K here. So, I have some decent cards, actually. Like, on me. I have some pretty decent cards. Okay, go with that. The crones are actually a good little strat. Okay, that's fine. Then I'm going to go with all the golds. Tell you what, I'm going to put Dandelion down, right? You ready? Dandelion goes down. So I want to see what cards he has left, so we're going to Amir, just, just to check. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Okay. He has a Scorch, okay. Imlareth, okay, nice. And that was a waste of turn. So the way I see it, right? We can use... Hang on. We can use K here as like a like our buffer card, right? And he's not going to Scorch, because that would be stupid. Okay, I think we've won. Boom. We won. Badass. I think there's another guy to potentially Gwent here. Greeting. What do you? Someone's in a good. The mood would you be in if you'd lost your son? Still masking. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm so, I feel like I'm skipping the converts just because they're Smiths and I, I shouldn't. Your son. What happened to him? Drowned. Finback tipped the boat he was on. For his first journey into northern waters. Sorry to hear it. Sea swallowed his body. I'll not bury him. He'll not feast with his ancestors. Jesus. Sorry, man. So be it. I wouldn't mind buying some stuff from you. Ah, fine. Sure. Okay, he's got nothing. Look, we'll play some Gwent to cheer up, all right? How about a few rounds of cards? <laughs> we're helping, we're cheering him up, guys. We'll give him a thrashing. <laughs> so mean. Uh, sure, that'll do. I, I'm like, you know, I like trying out all these new decks. It's fun. Ooh. Ooh, Letho. 
There he is. There's our boy. Okay, what are we going as now? Fringilla? Sure. Okay. Open him with that, I see. Oh, he has Yorveth. I want Yorveth so much. Imagine if this guy gave us Yorveth, guys. Wouldn't that be awesome? Um... Fair enough. I could decoy the 10. Kind of pointless, though. What I can do is I can play 10 on the back and then decoy. If necessary. I'll save Villain Tread and Mirth. I'm going to decoy the 10 on the back. Oh, wow. Okay, he's really going for it. Hang on, if I have a Mirth now, that puts me up to 48, right? And then he loses 12, which puts him down to 47? That's actually... We'd be winning. Hang on, why not? Um... What that put us up to? That'll double it, so we'll get another 16, which puts us up to 50, 60 something. Okay, that's good. I'm going to go with that. point in that boom we won we won guys we did it i like how we're winning with other decks it's not just the top the northern realms turret spy tactic you know we can actually play the game as well okay so uh we got okay awesome right what am I looking at here? So we have the Cave of Dreams, which is level 14. So that's actually something we probably want to do early on. We have the Family Blade. We have Lord of Unvic. We have the Black Pearl, which we can't finish yet. We have Following the Thread, which is something I actually want to do. Uh, Echoes of the Past. My plan at the moment was to do Cave of Dreams, then do the Family Blade, and then do the um, the two on Crate Kids thing. However, I'm not sure if I want to do the... I want to, maybe I'll go and see Yennefer with Ermion before that, because I'd like to Gwent Ermion and um, and then do Lugos uh, as early as possible before I forget sort of thing. I think there's actually a little village down here, so I, I kind of want to get the marker for it, and I think there also might be some sign boasts. Uh, sorry, a signboard. I think we've had a, a good little part so far today. I'm going to stop soon, but... Um, you know, I've I've had a good little time. I've I've sort of done things. I kind of want to do the whole Cave of Dreams quest though. I think that's a really fun one. I like it. You know, it's an interesting quest. I'm nothing. I'm just walking. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, I might do the Cave of Dreams and then oh. the uh, Family Blade quest maybe. Actually, I could just do the Family Blade and then end on a Cave of Dreams. Oops, let me do that. Oh, we also have a Hallowed Horn now. God, we've got so many quests. Jesus. Is there a marker here? Oof. That's enough. Wait, wait. Sure. There's no markers. Surely there's a marker up there, right? That's crazy. Oh, there is one at the... There'll be one by the docks. Guarantee it. Okay, Roach. I don't need you anymore. I'm sorry. We just want to go down the hill. No horse required. Uh, oh, I don't want to die. Oh, I just had a lag spike. That was not a good time. Oh, I hear... You've come a long way. I have. Since the Witcher 1, we're here now. Merchant, do you, you sell Gwent cards? Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any land-bound shop in Novograd. Nice. A lot of Gwent today. 
Ooh. Uh. <laughs> Sells like fish and nothing else. We're just as well stocked. Here's all our fish. Should we sell our, our hides? Because we have a lot of hides. I know they're useful for armor and stuff, but I, I feel like we don't need to make armor for a while. I do also have to do the arm crate thing, right? Oh, hang on. I have loads of other hides I can sell. It's nice to have a merchant to sell hides to. It's been a while. I can sell seven. Okay, right. Let's go I like using Nilfgaard against Skelliger. Yep. Okay. Uh, did we actually get anything? I'm, I'm all sort of tempted to check. Okay. We've drawn one of our spies, finally. Uh. Okay. I'm going to open with Siri. I feel like he's got... I need to get that lead. I'm going to give him the spy, and then maybe villain try to murder him. He's quite far ahead of me, but you know I've... Wait, hang on, what is this? Choose one card from your discard pile and play it instantly. Is that my graveyard? My discard pile, what the hell? I haven't really done this in a long... Or while. So, if I can kill the nine without killing the fives, I can actually get a... Uh... Okay, I can't. <sighs> Maybe I can play... I'm just wondering if it's worth me playing a bit first before skipping. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip. I'm fine with that. Opening strong. Is this the discard pile? Just checking if that's what it's called. I'm going to have to look at that because I'm actually not sure. Um, it's fine. I'm actually going to use my... Should I use my ability or should I... I feel like I should wait. I could go Letho. Or Commander's Horn, and then if he kills it with a Scorch, I can res it. Okay. Oof. I guess Villain Treadermirth? I can't really get the double on him anyway now. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to open with Letho. I think this is... Is this, the, is this what it's called? Discard pile? That's a weird name. Uh, I think that literally... It just revives, right? Yeah, cool. And now what I'm going to do is do the ultra... Oh, I can actually, um, I can... I can do this. That's why we keep the decoy, guys. I guess, um, Skelliger wasn't even a faction in The Witch 3, if, if you think about it. I kind of completely forgot that, to be completely honest. Awesome. And then if he puts anything on the front row, we can maybe villain try to murder him, which might be fun. God damn it. I don't want to revive anything. I'm, so, I'm trying to force him to play. I want him to put something on the front row. Right, he's got a Scorch both. I can revive them, that's fine. Okay, I think I've won anyway, right? But I may as well have a bit of fun. Boom. I never use my ability, because I just I sort of can't be asked. There you go. 61. 
Okay, merchant, thank you for that. I have enjoyed gwenting you today, but I must go and do these other quests. Oh, we got Regis! Oh my god, we actually got Regis? That is incredible. I'm so lucky. I want to make a Regis monster deck. That was like one of my things. Hang on, let's have a look here. Is Regis neutral in this, or is he a monster? Oh, here. Didn't I already do this? Okay, we're going to have a look. We have a, we have a marker at the lighthouse. We'll go and quickly grab it. Why not? It's a, it's it's convenient. God damn, Harbies don't nest there. Really? Why does the crossbow like barely work? Come on. Yes. Of course, the harpy has to be the first. Come on, harpy. Sure, that hit. Why not? I just, want, I just wanted to try that, to be honest. Okay. Right, I actually want to upgrade art a bit. I want to get, like, the, uh, the the freeze and stuff, you know? I think it might be quite fun just to do that. I actually probably have some um, some upgrades I haven't done for a long... Hang on, wait. I haven't, I haven't done upgrades in so long. I have four points? Oh, my God. Can I get art upgrades? Art. Let's see. So we can get, like, increases the art range by one. What would I take out, though? Nothing, really. I kind of have everything upgraded that I need to, and there's no point really going into the other trees until I level up a bit more. Whatever. Okay. Um, I guess we want to go and get this horn, right? I don't want to fight all these harpies, to be honest. It's just going to be a pain. I'm just going to ride through them. I, already, I fought enough harpies, all right? Roach, chill. It's literally one harpy. We killed all their friends. There's a water hag down there. God damn it, Roach. It's like it's like it's like a three foot gap. You know? Oh fucking what just happened? Ugh. Oh god. okay. I found a little a little route that I can sneak up. I just like dolphin dived into a boat. Thank God the dolphin dive didn't just instantly kill me. So apparently the horn is here, but where? Down there. Didn't I kill all the guys over there before? Okay, run, jump. I landed. Find the stolen horn. I killed all the guys here, so maybe it'll just be in a chest or something. I probably missed it when I last came here, now I think about it. Unless it just hadn't sort of been put, you know, spawned in. If you know what I mean. Uh, oh no, guys have respawned. So there's a chance that I can get burning, right? Shit, that was really, that was close, hang on. Okay, we did it. We're very low health. I'm gonna, I'm gonna potion up, and then I'm gonna have a little rest. Okay, for now though, we'll try and find this horn. I, those guys must have respawned or something, right? Ah, maybe in this chest. I feel like it's in this chest. God damn it. Oi! Can I read? Ah, Journal of a Thief Part 2. I, Kya, son of Knut, have twice disgraced myself. First by running from the field field of battle battle out of fear of dying, the shield I abandon then rests on the bottom of the marsh, and there it will stay until Ragnarug as testimony of my cowardice. The second time was when Orn two heads convinced me to help him steal Holger Black Hol Holger Blackhand's horn. Once uh, Orn thought I'd sell the horn to smugglers, but I won't. If I'm to live like a thief and a bandit, I prefer not to live at all. 
The one thing I can do to regain my honor is to return the horn to where it belongs, to, the, to its ancestral home. Matheos, who hold a charge with getting the horn back, has family near these cliffs. I hope he'll come here for the Equinox Festival. Then I'll be able to give him back the stolen horn and ask him f and ask for him to vouch for me with the Jarl. That's all. That's all the hope I have left. Well, guess it didn't work out. Where am I headed? I need to go. I need to go and give this horn to Holger Blackhand, right? So I got to go back up here. Hang on, the boat's probably easier, right? Like I can use the boat to travel to a port. Right, I'll go on the boat. Ah, oh, Skelliger is amazing. I've spent so long, like, like so much of this part just on this one island. Like, just, just doing all the missions this island has to offer. It's very cool, though. I like it. Okay. Look at that lighthouse blazing in the distance. That's, a, that's an effect of our quest right there, guys. Something that's actually now in the world and we can see. I love it. Right. Carrying on. Geralt, hurry up. So I should be able to teleport to the, uh, the 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 point down there, right? There is a harbor down there, I think. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Oh, I love when you sort of know the little tricks in the game. I know, I know that's like an actual mechanic and stuff, but I remember I used to not really do that at all. I used to just always travel places, and I used to use the signpost, and that was about it. But the boat thing is very useful. Okay, clan drum and guards. <laughs> I need to go and find this horn and bring it to Math Mathios. Matthias. Math Mathios. I don't know. We're almost there. Maybe I'll do following the thread next. Just get that out of the way. And then maybe do Cave of Dreams. Because I have spent a long time today just like building decks and stuff. So I don't want to have the part too short, obviously. I know what, and I'm enjoying it, you know? I'm having a good time. Mathios. Oof, that's enough. Wait, wait. Okay. This one's really funny. The difference between... Aha. Uh -huh. Greetings, traveler. There you go. Got back your stolen horn, and I, uh, killed the thieves. Shame that. They weren't evil men. Didn't give me a choice. Where's my reward? Take it. And next time, slay some damn monsters. Okay, well, there's your horn, you asshole. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go and do the following the thread quest now. Um, we have to just go to Pharaoh and look for Hammond. And we actually have a marker down there, which, so, you know, easy. Easy game. I think I think there is a signpost here. Yeah, there you go. Still can if you. No, right. Geralt's not up for that, alright? Uh, here. There you go. Harvikin. Harvik Ken. Oh, did you hear about that? Hear what? On Henrietta, it was a little note there. I missed it. Quest updated. Following the thread. Oh, hang on. Have I have I gwented these lads? Holger Blackhand. I have your horn. Aye. How are things on Pharaoh? There is always. It's pissing buckets and fucking freezing. See, you're bursting with pride. No use cutting seal shit with honey. Pharaoh is a rock overgrown with pines, but we've no need for more. Can't eat pine wood. But use it to build a long ship, and you'll eat your fill of what others have grown and bred after you've taken their wenches and their gold, burned their homes to the ground. That's how Clan Dimon lives. Well, farewell. Hey, dude. What do you need? I need some oh, Gwent. No. What'd you have in stock? What do you? Just want to check here and there. Ooh, wow. Okay, right. Let's Gwent. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent. Geralt, you're just Gwent and everybody today. Oh, hang on. Did I get a new leader card? No. Okay, let's go. I gotta play way more carefully with this deck compared to the Northern Realms one. Sorry, K here. Hang on, if I do this and he skips, I can put Geralt down. 
Oh. I drew another spy. It's fine by me. Um, so many cards. Fair enough. Fringilla. Okay. I can go Vesemir. I could decoy, but I kind of want to wait till he plays the spy. There you go. Oh, drawing all the cards today. Okay, Dandelion. Boom. Round one is won. I'm gonna start with Amir's ability. Okay, so he has pretty terrible cards. He can revive a spy, I guess. Can I do the same? Annoyingly, no. Uh. What's the hot? Oh no, hang on. Maybe I can. I could revive like just really high cards and force him to play. So I could do. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do this. Into. This. Then he's gonna get a spy or something, right? Which is fine by me because I can revive it. I can revive both of them, it's fine. Okay, well, God, they just did a lot then. Sorry, I was just watching and sort of, uh, sort of mesmerized. Okay. Boop. Thank you, Letho. Oh, do I really want to give him this nine? I guess I can res my villain trait and earth, right? Yeah, I can. Okay. I'll res the other spy. Yeah, there you go. Enjoy. Okay. Now I can villain threaten mirth his villain threaten mirth. What else have I got in the graveyard? Let's have a look. Or oh, the discard pile, apparently. Not much. Okay, right. I'm going to do villain threat mirth first. Boom. Okay, then next I'm going to do this. Into this, into... I don't really have many front row cards, do I? I'm just going to keep doing this. I guess I could do, like, you know, just for a bit of fun. I could go like that, and then into, um, Dandelion. Right, well, we won. I actually quite like our Nilfgaard deck. It, it, it sort of works, slightly. Oh, guys, there's another innkeeper to play Gwent with. As I said, if we go to new places, we just have to Gwent everyone, or I'll forget that I actually haven't Gwented them yet. So, man. Okay, he does want to Gwent. 
Right, we've got to buy all the shit first. Sure, give us that. You, thirst for gambling. Let's go. Got it. Yeah, same as always. Right, we're just going to try and be quick. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Hang on. I don't. I, I was spamming A. Um. We won. Badass. Do I have any spies? No. Okay. I'm going to force him to play, boys. Um, I could skip, but I kind of want to force him to play a bit more. I may as well play all my, like, high-level default cards, because I can revive them. Um, that's about the long and short of the, 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 the default cards. I can Amir. I, I guess I'll save that for, like, the last round or something. Uh, I mean, I may as well let that die, to be honest. I've got so many res cards. Put down. I'll put down another ten. I'll get a bit of a lead and then skip. Okay. <laughs> He's playing all his cards. He just gave up. He straight up just gave up. Good, good Gwent keeper. Um, I'm sure you'll get there one day. Nice. It'd be funny if he gave me like a gold card or something, you know. Just got a really bad hand. Yeah, yeah, we know. Oh yeah, I actually came here for a reason. I remember. Following the thread. That's it, Roach. Yeah. Come on. Get out of the way, animals. We gotta get to this bit. I actually may as well go to that marker on the way, right? It's it's yeah, it's like right there. May as well. Okay, then we'll go and find Hammond, we'll go, get some go. info from him, and we'll continue following this thread. This really long thread, all the way from Novigrad. Oh, sort of very, very aggressive music, and it just switches. Oh, there's a quest up there. Hey! Oh my god, it's her! I've not seen you here before. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. I'm Yuta Undimon. No man's been found who could best me in combat. Will you fight me? Will you fight me? You? I've defeated Pharaoh's most famous warriors. Men so worthy of respect I don't dare mention their names. And who is Geralt of Rivia? Someone you haven't defeated. Maybe you're not worthy of my time? You performed any great feats? Because I don't believe I've heard. What kind of feats you have in mind? Hmm. I'll fight you if you defeat Gundar. Couldn't best me, but he's a brave man and a worthy opponent. Good. I'll give it a shot. See you soon. I truly wonder if you will. Farewell. Fine, I'll fight him. Is he here? He's far away. We'll deal with him later on. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, following the thread. Yeah, and I was also getting the the the, the question mark. Okay. What is it? This marker. Hang on. I don't want. I don't want to die. I don't want to fall off and just die. Ugh. Okay. There's a monster den. It's an elven. Ooh. Oh, the feline silver sword master crafted. Badass. Nice. Well, that's cool. Um, I guess we finished the monster then? There's no monster in here, though. Oh. Twine. Damn. We're getting a lot of cool stuff. Is that more I see? What was in there? Damn. That was a really good little haul. Jesus. God, I, I never really collected the Mastercrafted cat gear, so that, that's sort of new to me, honestly. Okay. Right, 
Time to find Hammond. We've done a lot of little... Oh, there's another little area. God damn, why is there so much to find in this game? It's amazing. It's just, oh my god, just, just... Oh, silver! Damn. Nice. We were actually quite low on silver, weren't we? Like, I had to make ingots out of my... Oh, got another piece, okay. Uh, because I'd, um... I guess I'd used a lot for the armor and stuff. I have a lot of silver... Uh, what are they called? The raw silver things. What the f... Oh, guys. Okay, Cyclops. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. First Cyclops of the game killed. I feel bad. I feel like they're almost like an endangered fella. Did I just hear a crossbow? Oh, I'm hearing stuff. It's concerning. Okay, it's fine. If only I could have looted whatever the hell that thing is on his back. Okay, let's carry on. Bloody hell. I think I, I saw a Cyclops earlier. They're quite common in... Well, not common, but they're, they're seen more than you'd think. Hello? You, gotta pay. you wanna pay the troll toll? Okay. Let him through. No sweat off your back. No harm done. Perhaps. But then taint no help to us neither. Besides, why do you care? You as nanny or something? I am. Let him go. Come on. No. I'm someone who has weapons and knows how to use them. Hear that, lads? He's threatening us. Let's see if his swords are as sharp as his tongue. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> well, my my flames are as hot as your your mum. Oh! oh, that was so good. I didn't even mean it. Right, okay. Um, that's right, your mum joke. Okay. Joke skill 1000. I shall say a prayer for you at my pilgrimage's end. Nice gesture, thanks. Now, where's your pilgrimage taking you? To the four faces of Hemdal, raised in honor of our great hero. Tell me about Hemdal. I've heard the legends of Hemdal, a great warrior and first father of the Isles. It's true. And before the advent of Ted there, the final age, he shall return. Walk amidst us and face the evil powers, demons, and specters of chaos. The golden cockerel Camby will crow to warn Hemdal of the coming of the Nargle Fair, bringing the army of darkness. A battle will ensue, Ragnarok, and Hemdal will clash with the forces of the dark. Let's hope he wins. It'll make no difference. The prophecy is clear. After Ragnarok, the world will end. Prophecies can be tricky that way, and there's never an ending that's not also a new beginning, a fresh start. Let us hope you're right, Wanderer. Let us hope you're right. Well, Ragnarok is, of course, I've, I actually made a video on that very recently, and I messed up the pronunciation, so I, I actually came and looked at this exact bit online, uh, because I couldn't, I just, I, I, I knew, I know, obviously I know Rag, Ragnarok is the actual way you say it, but in, in The Witcher, it's like Ragnarog. It's not Rug, even though there's two O's. You don't you don't carry the O at all. And um, uh, it's because I'm, you know, it's not my default language. Uh, the, the way I, you know, I, obviously I speak English and all the rest, but typically in English, if you have two O's, I guess you'd normally carry it, right? Like, who, um, soon, for example. Like Ragnar, Ragnarug, Ragnarug, Ragnarug. Uh... So it's just, it was it was a thing for me, but I, I fixed it, obviously, and I changed it. Jesus, the rain. I kind of like it. It kind of adds to it.
What do you want? I'm looking for Hammond. What for? Business. He prays at the chapel on the hill this time of day. If it's slaves you're looking to buy, you'll have to wait till he's done. Didn't know him to be a God-fearing man. Um... Yeah, we'll do that, why not? He's praying. Wouldn't have thought him a God-fearing man from what I've heard about him. Hmm. Yet it's not something that would surprise any man who knows him. Another step. Yep. You know the drill. I knew, I just just to put you guys, I knew that would happen. I just straight up wanted to kill them and loot their entire base. That that was the main, the main, the main idea. Ow. Like that, that literally, I, I, I feel like I kind of just want to deal with them. It's for Dan, Dandelion, it's for Lambert. It, it, it's what we got to do, all right? Geralt is such a badass, man. Orders from Hammond. Next time I gotta, uh, next time I gotta make sure to visit the shrine on the hill and make an offering before setting out. The gods' favor. That's what matters most. So if any customers come, tell them to wait till I get back. They'll understand. They'll know I'm liable to get ornery when someone interrupts my prayers. Uh, keep your eyes peeled, Hammond. Well, there you go. That's the way it goes. Still got some more to kill. Oh, I like the thunder. It's amazing. All right, let's carry on. Yeah, look, it did it. The runestone. Badass. I'm trying to get a good look at the runes on the sword. Um, it worked. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, I can see him. You see the runes? Very cool. God, I love being over leveled. How dare you hit me, you little little fella? Oh, hang on. Okay, we killed them all. Now we will get all their awesome loot, all their axes. We'll get some, some money built up. We've been quite low on money for a long time now. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is what it was all for. This is why we, I decided to, uh, to do the religious thing. All this goat hide and hardened leather. It's honest work. Um, okay. I absolutely love the bear armor. I, f I feel so skeleton right now. Like, Geralt's got his beard back. We spent some time in jail. We've, um... We've become... We've had a fight with some skeletons, and now we, we're sort of being contracted by the dad of, obviously, Blue Boy Lugos to deal with deal with that shit, which we will. Uh, probably next time, though. I was planning to do it today, but you know what? I, I want to keep it short and sweet. I want to get this part out for you guys. I'm actually recording this much later than normal, so I don't have as much time, but I'm really enjoying it, man. I, I love this game so much. And obviously, i got to do all this looting, so, yeah. We have done a lot today, though. Like, we did that whole contract with the Blue Ball Lugos thing. We we did, um... Oh, hang on. We're doing, obviously, this right now. I want to finish this off, following a thread. Because I feel like we can, um... We can go to hand this quest in, right? Uh... Later in the game. When we have to go back. And we can also Gwent Lambert. If I'm, I'm gonna actually check online if um, if I can hand it in that late, because normally I I kind of want to be able to hand in quests right when it calls for it. So for example, I I don't want to just go back to Novigrad or whatever midway through the Skellige area. I, I kind of only want to go back there when the the game sort of leads to that. You know what I mean? So that that's what I'm that's what I want to do. And I I know we have to go back there, but I'm wondering if the quest will like not be able to be done at that point. Okay. Have we looted everything? We've been in quite a lot of houses and stuff. 
I don't want to obviously be here forever looting, but it, it it's just it's a good area to get some little resources, you know. And I have a I feel like I have quite a lot of carry weight because I've sold so many things. HUD gets you a lot of money. I got that. I never actually bothered to sell it or whatever, or even p pick it up in the past. But it was actually you guys that taught me that. I think it was a comment in one of the older Witcher parts. God, I can't see anything. God, I actually hang on. Okay, fair enough. You know what? Very quickly. You have, to, you have to deal with this horrible bright screen for a second. Just while I restore health, then I'll reset it. It's like I can do two jobs at once. Okay, I, th I think I've looted everywhere around here. I, th I still have these guys, but I I'm assuming they didn't have much. Oh no, they, ha they have some stuff. Magic battle axes. Why not? I think that'll do. There's probably a few things I missed and all the rest, but I'm honestly not too fussed. I think I think this is fine. We have 3,000 crowns, and it was, I know it's not much. I got some comment last time about how, you know, oh, you're so excited about having 1,000 crowns, I have this much. And I'm like, well, I have made, like, loads of sets of Witcher armor and stuff, you know? I've, um, I've also not really been focusing on getting a lot of money. And, and I was, it was mainly because I was shocked at how few swords I actually had to sell to, um to get that amount, you know. Oh, hang on. Boom, no damage. Imagine doing, like, a Witcher 3 no-damage playthrough, and the second... Oh, no, like, a, I guess it would actually be kind of, I mean, inverted commas, easy to do a Witcher 3 no-death playthrough, right? Like, a hardcore, if you die, that's it. That'd be really fun, actually. That'd be horrible. Imagine that. Imagine getting all the way to, like, Kaer Morn or something, just falling off a fucking, like, a hill. Oh, hang on. Hello, Hammond. Gods of the sea. I've never begrudged you no gifts. Grant me another victory, so I can make you another offering of me loot. Don't mind me. Fuck, what now? You're in Carradin's band. Heard you were in Carradin's band. Fucking say what you want. Come on, spit it out, you arse-lickin' bastard. Jesus. I'm looking for Yad Carradin. And just who the hell are you? A friend of a friend. I'm looking for Carradin. Thought maybe we could make some sort of deal. What? Our business robbing some Novigrad pricks the wrong way? Plowing gills. Come on, what are you waiting for? Kill the fucker! Try. Jesus. Oh. Right, well following the thread is um it's turned into a bloody a bloody mess, but you know what? We're doing well. Okay. Keep going. Um Aha, a letter written on elegant stationery. Hammond, thought I made it clear during our last face-to-face -face talk, I don't want to keep in touch with you, and I especially don't want to discuss any business with you. I've no doubt the enterprise you proposed would be profitable. Nevertheless, to speak... Colloquially? 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 Colloquially. Colloquially. I don't know, could be saying that wrong, who cares? Count me out. There are plenty there are plenty of other potential buyers in Novigrad, goldsmiths, jewelers, and merchants dealing in luxury goods. For starters, I don't want to get involved. Whatever you decide, I wish you well in it. Treat this letter as our final farewell. K. 
Taradin. Well, meet Lambert at the Nowhere Inn. In the future, I definitely will. Not for a long time, though. We can't be returning to Novigrad. Th these noises are scary. Ooh. Hindusfjall heavy armor. That's very cool. Uh, should I go and kill that thing? I feel like I should. I feel like it's it's sort of baiting me with its little creepy legs. Oh, okay. Speaking of... Oh, okay. And I set fire to the Arrakis. Oh, we can get some Arrakis venom, boys. Okay, you guys, I want to kind of lead you into each other and just see what happens. It's, it's like a it's like a, a social experiment. Come on, go near the barrel. You're dead. Fucking pike. Okay, Arrakis. Ow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I will get burning on this thing. Sorry, poison. Jesus, man. I can't, like, you can't really avoid that, can you? Whoa! Arrakis Venom? Oh. Oh, well. I don't even need it anymore. It was just, uh... It's a classic thing, you know? The Arrakis Venom. Okay. Well, um, we've done a lot here, haven't we? Jeez. Is there a marker? Oh, there is one there. Okay, I better do that, I guess. I'll go and do that quickly. Why not, while we're here? Deal with the markers, as I said, guys. Okay. Is it How far away is it? It's not that far. We can walk there. I'd like to use Roach, but on this terrain, honestly, walking is easier. Come on. I imagine it'll be some sort of monster nest or something based on how many Arrakis... Arrakis's... Hang on, is that a proper full-on Arrakis? Uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. You have fun, thing. Monster. You live. Oh, shit. Oof. Tell you what, you do speed down though, don't you? Like, you really speed down. Keep going, Geralt. Come on. Seventy-three. Very close. I think it's a monster den, maybe. There is a lot of sirens here. Oh, is this where the bear armor is? Am I thinking the right thing here? Hang on, I can't see anything. Can I make some um, some oils? I kind of want to do that. I said I was going to do that and I completely forgot. Just make as many as we can. Make a lot of oils. Anything else? Oh, make vampire oil. 
potions, sure. Jesus. Where have, where have I collected all this stuff? Just off, like, the ground accidentally? Quest. Just do the chortler lore. Okay. Enhanced hangman's venom. I'm just checking if I had any other... Okay. That was a lot of stuff. I don't know what it's all for. Hmm. Oh. Why can't I use it? Oh, there you go. Um. Is there another one? Oh, yeah. Maybe if I put them both, like, facing forwards? Or facing each other, maybe? Well, uh, they're making weird things now. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll explore the cave a bit more. Maybe there'll be some sort of clue. Um. Oh. What the fuck? Is it? Is it? I turn them until they make that sort of tingly stuff. You know what I mean? So that's apparently now where that needs to be. Fair. Okay, so we'll go to the other side. This is like a puzzle. I like it. So those two are still tingly. Cool. And now we need to do the same over here. And it should probably open these doors or something. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. We just found a cool sword, guys. It's not as good as our current sword, but I think it's worth a lot. Hang on, how much is it worth? 300, it's not actually worth that much. I guess that was just a bit of a, a fun a fun little marker place. That was actually kind of cool. Like, a lot of the markers, like, are just bandits and stuff, and this was uh, a cool little, uh, cool little in thing. Hang on. I'm wondering if there's anything behind there. I don't think so. Okay, well, that was fun. I had a good time. I'm wondering if there was another door or something. No. I guess that's probably done now. Well, we cleared the marker, guys. It was a, a little cave. Quite interesting, I think. Ugh, it's so awkward going through water. I wish there was, like, a, a swim-fast thing. Like as in swim fast, immediately. No, no, no waiting. I'll just walk back. Hang on, or I could use the boat and then fast travel. No, no, I'll just, I'll just go back to the sign. So I guess what I want to do now is just sort of end the part, but I'll, I'll get back to a uh, civilization first. Well, anyway, guys, that was really fun. We didn't do any main quests today. I just wanted to do some, like, markers and deal with some of the quests. We got put in jail. That was quite fun. We grow our awesome beard out. We've uh, obviously got the Lugos quest to do next time, which I think will be really fun. We have some other little quests to do. I also want to do a main quest next time, be that maybe, the, like, the Ceres one or Hjalmar, or maybe we'll even do the Yennefer one, because I would like to do the Ermian thing as early as possible. So, yeah, um, next time we'll do some more of this Witcher 3. I'm really, really enjoying it. I've 
had a really fun time today and it's just been amazing. I've just, the main reason I don't record for so long and I'm trying not to record for so long is because it takes such a long time to get the parts out. Um, like uh, if I do like a three hour part or something, it takes like eight hours to render and stuff. And I have to sort of censor how much I'd like to play because of those sort of issues and stuff. And it's a shame, but I, I've had so much fun with what I have been able to do today and it, it's just been so cool. But anyway, guys, thank you for all watching today's Witcher part. It's been really, really fun. If you want to see this Witcher 3 series continue, click like on the video as it lets me know you want to see more and you enjoy it and you just enjoy this sort of content. So yeah, just click like if you want to see more of these sort of videos and you want to support the series. Thank you to everyone that subscribed. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I do updates on there, of course, on the Reddit and Discord. And also go and follow my Twitch. I've actually been doing a lot of Gwent on there recently, a lot of story games. I talk about the Witcher a lot. I talk about stuff that I'm sort of thinking about to do with the books. I talk about lore behind some of the cards and stuff when I play the game. And I just have fun and I, I like chatting to you guys, to be honest. So if you guys want to go follow me on there, or if you do follow me, want to come and tune into the streams, I'd really appreciate it as I like chatting to you guys and it's, it's always a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, as always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing and I'll leave the video with your awesome names. Thank you all so much. It's very, very kind what you do. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching today's Witcher 3 part. I'll be back this week with another lore video, and then next week I'll do another Witcher 3 part. I know I forgot to buy the other bit of the Unvic armor today, but we can do that next time. Just remind me. Thank you for watching, guys, and have an awesome rest of the week.